Matt Savage and Phil Helmuth here at the LA Poker Classic main event. We're down to 207 players, and one of those players is Mr. Phil Helmuth. How's your day started off so far? I mean, I've decided to you know continue to play super patient, and um, I didn't play a hand for three rounds. I finally, after folding Queen Nine and King Four on the button, I finally raised it with Queen Eight. Both blinds called, and it came six six five. I bet eight thousand. Guy with Ace Jack called. Um, and then the turn was a king. I bet 15,000. He called me again with ace jack. And a seven on the river. I can't bet it now. I checked. And, and he checked and I checked. And he had ace jack high. And I give him credit for a great call. But I want to know what I want to know. Whenever people make great calls like that, what I want to know is when I have two queens, are they going to give me 22,000? You know? But you, right now, you got to say great call and see if I can't take advantage of that player later. Just about 1.7 for first in this tournament. You've never had a million dollar score. Even second place would be your biggest score ever or a World Poker Tour title. What would it mean to you to win today or in this tournament? It's crazy. I have like $11 million and I've never cashed for more than like 750000 and which was what I won in 1989. Right. Um, so it's really weird, right? Um, but I feel like I feel like great things are coming for me in 2011 and I feel like I have an amazing strategy. So I'm very pleased, I'm very happy, and so I just have to, to let it play out and see what happens. But this strategy of mine com keeps me completely risk-free. I mean, there's no complete risk-free at No Limit Hold'em, but I feel like it's as risk-free as it can be. I'm having fun, I'm sending out tweets, I'm texting with people. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I mean, I was doing this thing every year where I watched every move every player made. I'm exhausting myself, you know? I don't need to do that. I have great instincts, and so, why watch a hand when you don't get to see what, what happens at the end anyway? You just have to trust your instincts anyway. At the, so it's a little bit lighter philosophy. It's a little bit easier philosophy. I've been playing really, really patiently. And um, up until I bluffed off 22,000, 23,000 there, um, I was sitting on 128,000, a completely risk-free day. A couple of quick questions. You, have, uh, you are poker's biggest free agent. And you're watching football games at Howard Letterer's house. Uh, you're flying in jets with Joe Hashem and Danny Negreanu. Is there some courtship, courtship going on? Actually, it rarely comes up. You know, I mean, to be honest, it's amazing um, that we don't talk more about poker sites. But these are my friends, you know, and um, and I have fun hanging out with these guys. And um, you know, I don't know where the. I, I will say this for those at home that are expecting me to sign a quick deal. It's not going to happen. I think that I won't sign until April. Is what it looks like. So. We're just kind of we're just kind of cruising along, you know. Uh, we're getting offers from a lot of different sites, and um, and then you know we'll see how things turn out. But it's going to be April. Any breaking news about ESPN and your uh, opportunity with them? Nothing I can announce yet. Um, people are speculating that that I might be the new ESPN commentator. It's a lot of speculation. They're also speculating that I might do Dancing with the Stars, which we'll find out tomorrow. All right, Phil. Good luck.